Hello, this is Teach Yourself. Uh, today we'll talking about how to test electronic parts inside Word. You know, I, uh, if you try to test uh, any parts inside motherboard, you need to know what is the circuit inside. And uh, you must be clever because you don't need to take out every piece and test it outside motherboard. You try to test it inside motherboard. For example, this capacitor here, we try to measure here. It must not read uh, very low resistance. If, if it's read low resistance, that means it's short or the circuit. Here, this another one we tested here. Oh, as you see, it's read uh, very low resist. That means there is short inside circuit belong to this capacitor. This capacitor connect with this MOSFET. So, if we check this MOSFET, you know MOSFET has drain and source and gate this is three pin must, must not have any lowers between each other and must not have any must not have uh, any short between them so we find this capacitor connect with this MOSFET street one one ohm is one ohm, so it's, there is short here this here another one see it about 10 ohm so it's okay as you know if you want to test any capacitor MOSFET or any parts in you mu you must try to test it inside motherboard but outside and if you want to take out every piece you will damage the motherboard so for example this capacitor here a street about 22 ohm so it's okay this another capacitor for this okay here this one what one this one if you find any parts near the processor you you, you need to take out processor processor and uh, try to test test it i show you another on this side of also for example this capacitor here 28 it's okay this capacitor is near this MOSFET so we try to check this MOSFET I show you here this is board for a lady so to understand how to test the parts electronic parts inside motherboard so for example this diode diode must not read any low resistance if it's need read Low resistance. Uh, that's mean diode is short. So as you see, it will read from one side, and other side will read high resistance. This one. For example, this capacitor, the mean capacitor, or 
350 volt 350 volt this capacitor must not read any low resistance if it's read any low resistance that means this capacitor is short or anything inside the circuit of the power this one here this di this four diode is a rectifier for 22 volt 222 volt as you see it should read from side and other side must not read this all parts you can test it inside motherboard you don't need to take out every piece outside and test it I hope you you will try this method to test any electronic parts inside motherboard this here also this capacitor I can test it from this side or oh, this one for example this one here as you see this read is it's discharging that's mean it's okay for example here this regulator this regulator each regulator have input and output and ground so this three pin must not have low resistance between each other one for the first one second one here and here so that's mean that's mean that's mean this regulator is okay thank you for watching